marriage is a joyous occasion. It is connected in our thoughts with the range charm of home. And with all that is pleasant and attractive in the tenderness and most sacred relation of life. four and a half years I have grown so close to you and I have known for a long time that I wanted you forever. We have both dreamed of this day for years and now it is finally here. I'm in love with your heart, your beauty, your genuine kindness and everything you do that makes you you. Your beauty amplifies to everyone around you. You have a light around you that is indescribable. Your generosity and want to help others is incredible. Your cooking's amazing. <laughs> Your looks are breathtaking. I promise I will always protect you, defend you, respect you, serve you, and love you for the rest of my life. Josh, it's hard to believe today is the day, our day. We've dreamed about this day for so long and it's finally coming true. I love you more than I can put into words. Today is the happiest day of my life. You are my rock, my sunshine, my home. Thank you for pushing me and encouraging me to be the best version of myself. I'm so glad God placed us in each other's lives. Throughout the past four and a half years, a lot of things have changed, but my love for you is unchanging and grows more every day. I cannot wait to see you at the altar and be your wife. I'm so lucky. See you soon. I love you. Courtney. to be your husband starting today. I promise I will never stop trying to be better for you. Let's have the best day ever. I love you so much. Do you take this lady whom you hold by the hand to be your lawful and wedded wife? I do. Do you promise to love and cherish her in sickness and in health, for better for poor, for better for worse, and forsaking all others, keeping thee only unto her so long as you both shall live? I do. Do you take the gentleman who now stand by your side and to hold your hand by the hand to be your lawful wedded husband? I do. Do you promise to love and cherish him in sickness and in health, for rich or for poor, for better or for worse, and forsaking all others, keep thee only unto him so long as you both shall live? I do. Having taken eat and plagued your afflictions, vows one to another, I do therefore, by the state of laws of this state of West Virginia, and by the authority of God, I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> Folks, at this time, I want to pre present Mr. and Mrs. Snuffer to the congregation.
Courtney. You are so funny, compassionate, and helpful, and you would do anything to make someone smile. Your laughter is contagious, and it has gotten us into trouble too many times. Thank you for being my person, my best friend, and my sister. I'm happy that you found someone who loves all of your qualities and embraces you for who you are. I've watched you grow from the little kid who smeared his boogers on the wall to the man that works two jobs while he's in school. Your work ethic and drive is inspirational, and so long as you and Courtney keep your faith, I believe the future is very bright for you both. Rocky, in the evergreen. Watching you like a movie scene. Josh, I wish you both the best as you start your new journey as husband and wife. I pray that God will bless your marriage and that in return you keep Him at the center of your relationship. As your friends and family, we wish you both the best and offer our encouragement and support. And here's to a lifetime of adventure, love, and memories.